Hi guys, this is Deborah, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to look for articles and where to look for them and what to do with them and why your evidence-based practice is important. So today I'm going to go through two, da through two databases. One is Cochrane Library and ScienceDirect. So if you just type Cochrane Library on Google, all right, it should take you to the main Cochrane database. So this database is the best because it gives you meta-analysis and reviews. And if you have a Cochrane review and you tell your mentor about it or supervisor or even at university, you are more likely to get more marks or more likely to get noticed kind of thing because a Cochrane review is a big thing. Okay, so I'm at the bar there at the top if you just follow the cursor. I'm just going to type ankylosing spondylitis and physiotherapy and let's see what comes up all right so you see at the top here that it's two Cochrane reviews okay and you come down and these are the two so let's open the first one All right, so this is your Cochrane review, and you can see what they have done. So you have your background objectives and search methods. So they tell you what they've searched and everything, where they've searched it, what selection criteria they use. So this is important. Reports of randomized controlled trials of adults with AS and comparing exercise and compare exercise program with an inactive control, so no intervention. All right. So this is an important thing. So when you do, so let's say you're presenting your Cochrane review, this is a key bit. So what selection criteria they used, okay? And then if you come down to the main results, so again, you just need to go through this and see what they have to say. So the point of a Cochrane review is you, it's best to know what was done and what the outcome was. If you don't know the outcome, then it's just pointless saying that you know a Cochrane review or that you've read a Cochrane review, okay? So what I'm going to suggest you do is, so here, if you follow the cursor, always download your PDF, okay, and either full content or if you want, just the summary. Okay, and just let that download. Okay, and again save it as a PDF and there we go all right so this is what it would look like now what you can do is download this to your system okay so your computer your phone whatever it is and keep it somewhere safe or name uh, name it physio articles or something like that okay so the important bits what you can do is just highlight this. Uh, I don't know, it's not highlighting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so just highlight the stuff. So if you go back to reading your article, maybe after 10 days, obviously you're not gonna remember everything and you're not gonna read the whole thing. So just look at the highlighted bits and that's your take home message or that's the summary of the review or of any article. Is that okay? So this is for your Cochrane database. Now for the next one, if I just type, oh, there we go, Science Direct, and it comes up there. And in your keywords, let's put tennis elbow, and let's say taping. All right, so these are all your articles. Again, you can select any one. So you can sort it by relevance or by date. So you might get the most recent articles first. So uh, the most re recent articles are better, but you need to also compare them to previous articles, okay? So in fact, if you look at this one, see this article here, there's short-term evaluation of K-tape 
randomized double blinded control trial so this should be a good article and it was released in 2021 or published in 2021 okay but if you look at this down arthroscopic uh, chronic tennis elbow surgery okay it's open archive means this is a free article so if we open this one the one at the top and I'll, I'll open this one as well simultaneously okay so so remember this one that's the good article that's a randomized double blinded and just published in 2021 follow the arrow and you'll see that you have to purchase the pdf all right or you can access it through your institution login so if you're working anywhere or if you're still studying at you know at a university universities have logins where you can download the pdf again for free okay because the institution buys the pdf so that's what you can do but this one so the next one so you have the option here to download full issue okay so what you can do is just download it yeah and keep it for you all right so over here sorry i'm just gonna close this so let's say in this article all right so because it's tennis elbow and things like that okay what you all is also helpful is recommended articles okay so there will be related articles that might help okay so this is also worth looking at when when you're looking for articles and again in the articles what's important is that so if you come back to this one the randomized double blinded control trial you should know the highlights okay so this is what is important and obviously you read the abstract you need to know the abstract so two scenarios the first one would be if you are a university student and you're giving your practical exams so what is really helpful when i was at university and we had our practical exams we had to quote the article the author which year okay and you had to say okay it was randomized double blinded controlled trial uh, you had so and so uh, so many participants in this group and another set of participants in that group what was done okay and what the outcome was and uh, how would you apply that to patients okay so you kind of needed to know a little bit in detail so even uh, what do you call it characteristics of the participants you needed to know whether they were male female whether they whether their age range was between 20 to 50 and things like that okay so that's if you're at university but if you're going for a job interview all right you don't need to remember um authors names and which year it was published okay so you could say that all right in one of the rcts that i read there were two groups in which this was done in group a this was done in group b and the people in the participants of group b showed more effect and you could say that yes you have also tried that treatment and it has worked and you can say things like that so you don't have to uh, be specific when you're going for an interview so things like so you can be asked um, what do you prefer for back pain w would you prefer the route the surgical route or would you prefer a conservative route so the answer is you need to so in research as we've seen long-term effects of surgical intervention are not helpful and people end up doing physio in the end so that's why you would choose the conservative route and start off physio first and not recommend uh, surgical interventions so things like that so just a, a very tiny summary really you don't know you don't need names of the articles and when it was published so this is the important or uh, importance of evidence-based practice if you're going for an interview or if you're going or uh, if it's your master's exams and things like that okay so yeah just keep in mind that you can find different articles in, in different places and the sports articles are found like in the sports medicine journals um, hand articles are found in hand therapy journals and so and so on and so and so on <laughs> sorry but yeah so keep an eye out for articles sometimes you do get um, notifications if there's a new article released if you subscribe to certain journals and things like that so if you are interested in like in a particular niche so it could be rheumatology it could be pediatrics it could be hand therapy 
turn these notifications on and subscribe to them so that you keep yourself up to date with practice. And another thing for you guys who are already in the UK, and if you are CSP registered, you get a magazine, the CSP magazine, and on that they do put up some research articles or review of articles, and that really helps. So try and read them. They're like maybe a page long, um, and that helps. So yeah, you could do that. I hope this helped, and I'm going to stop recording now. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or find me on Instagram, send me a, D a DM. It's Deborah D. Rosario on Instagram or just drop a comment. All right. See you. Bye bye.